Hey guys, continuing on with the Minnesota Run Heavy scheme. Now, a lot of people know it's really key to have a great base play, and it's really nice to have a, um, a good pass play and a good run play. The, uh, either a good run play you can uh, obtain for your quick audibles, or a pass play that you can obtain for your quick audibles. Now, this is probably the most used formation this year in Madden 13. In my opinion, I think it's probably the, one of the betters. Um, because a lot of people are, are, are scared that you're going to throw the ball or they're scared that you're going to run the ball. It's pretty balanced. So what you're going to be wanting to using in this scheme is you're going to be wanting to using the single back ace outside zone. Now, it's pretty a unique play if you look at it. Now, it's pretty much the stretch, but as you can see, it's directed off of ta it's directed off tackle. Now, if you go flip it, directed off tackle, directed off tackle. So it's pretty much like a stretch, but it's directed off tackle. So that's going to be your base play in your scheme. We're going to go ahead and put the defense in a man coverage. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to be showing you the ace man coverage beaters, and then I will do another separate part so you can see the zone. I'm going to be breaking up the video into the uh, audible man beater and the audible zone beater. It's a lot easier for people to access. Um, I thought of it kind of when I was doing my first video, and I was like, you know what, this is kind of this is kind of bad. You know, I'm going to go ahead and break this up. So. Once again, we're going to be going into a man coverage, probably a 4-6. A lot of people run a nickel. Let's go ahead and put a nickel normal, two man under. And as you guys see, it's just a basic defense. A lot of people will run this a man coverage. You see the corners are up. They're about to press. They're playing man coverage. And you're going to see the difference between the run and the zone. Now, when running against man and zone, there's I mean there's not too much of a difference. The reason I wanted to break the videos up is so when we get into our passing plays, uh, because there's a lot difference of how you're gonna play it. Now, what you're gonna be wanting to do, so we're gonna go ahead and check out this run so you guys can see what it looks like. As you can see, it's a it's actually a stretch play, guys. And there's no really difference to it as as you would see a halfback stretch, so we're gonna go ahead and run it. So we're gonna go here. Uh, good little juke move. I don't know why Vernon Davis decided to not block down. Usually Vernon Davis, what he does is he'll go ahead and block down. We'll try it one more time. Uh, Frank Gore made a good move again. Gets six yards. Let's try to go ahead and bust one off so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Frank Gore making plays. That's why you get a Frank Gore. Okay. So as you guys can see, and the reason... You want to make your reads in this is, uh, as you guys can see, it's easier to run it to the right because if you go ahead and count on your face, uh, you will see one, two, three, four, five, six guys on the right side. And if you go list, this is probably the, the better way to judge it, is you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you get seven guys over there, and you've only got six guys over here. And on top of the box, you've got one, two, three, four, and one, two, three inside the box to the left. Four to the left, three to the right. Now, check it out if we run it to the left. It's a little bit different because that guy has a better way of shooting off the edge. He has a better chance of getting to the outside of you and coming down. And as you guys will actually see, when somebody's to the outside, the uh, the way they made the game this year is the offensive line's actually smart enough for the left tackle to say, hey, tight end, you've got to go get that guy, so I'll get this guy to your left. 77 goes and picks up the linebacker and then so on and so forth. Now, the problem with that, though, is is when they're having to run, you get a way better chance on the defense to block shed. So it's a lot better to run into the side with less people, and that's just my opinion this year. I mean, a lot of people have their opinion. See, but you can see what I'm talking about. For some reason, Vernon Davis, I'm not sure why, but he's deciding to not go up and get that linebacker. He's deciding to stay and double down with him, and he's supposed to go get 95. I'm not sure why he's not doing that. So, I mean, that's just something that I'm probably going to have to work on figure out later on. So now getting back into this man cover thing, the reason I'm breaking this up is, like I said, running the ball against man or zone, there's not too much difference. I mean, there's somewhat. People can argue with me if they want. But, I mean, if you make your reads and everything, it's not too big of a deal. So you're going to be going dive. This is just another run. This is your quick run down. Uh, you got nobody in the middle. It's an easy gain, three or four yards, five yards. Probably can get one busted. And then you guys will see it's a gain of four. Now, getting back on point with the man. This is your pass play you want to use. This is the best, probably the best play in the game. Not best play in the game, but I think it's one of the better pass plays because of the adjustments you can do to it. I mean, you're in ace. People are like, oh, crap, he's going to run the stretch. He's going to run the draw. 
He's going to run your, if you go to your quick audibles, like I said, your pump draw, which I'm going to be showing you later on in a second, uh, your quick pass. So what you're going to do is, against man coverage, if you see these corners pressed up, there's two ways you can run it. You can go triangle, X, street, square, smart route, out route, oh, smart route, out route. And we'll go ahead and show you this play. And we're going to go boom, and we're going to hit our out route. Kaepernick almost messed up. Get a nice pass. We'll show it to you one more time. We'll go ahead and throw it to uh, O. Again. Streaks. Double out route. Smarted. And then boom. O. Out route. 15, 16, 17 yards. There we go. That's a nice little play. That's the first way you can run your man beater. If you see your corners up. And that's probably a better way to run it. Now, also, against some man coverage. This is another way I like to run it. I like to keep it. A base quick pass and just streak triangle and streak X. Now, the good thing about the streaks this year, guys, by the tight ends, is they always get inside position. At least one guy is going to find in inside position. So what you're going to do is we're going to call hike, and we're just going to watch this play. So you see triangle got the inside. O oh, did it, right? And then, okay, we're just going to go ahead and break this down. Just go ahead and bail. I just wanted you guys to see what I was talking about. So from the, from the play, you saw triangle got inside position. And the good thing about that is... If that's a really, really easy pickup. It's a really, really easy pickup. Um, so we'll go it again. So you see he gets the inside position. Wait a second. Lead it, lead it, lead it. You can probably wait. Let's go ahead and count because uh, getting the inside position, the corners decide to jump inside or the linebackers decide to jump inside after a time. So let's go ahead and time it. We're going to go one, two, three, four. And actually, he didn't even decide to jump at that time. I mean, you had pretty good position. Usually about the time they hit the, the, the strong safety or the free safety guys is when they start to jump the inside position because the safety plays outside of them. It's The game is really smart this year, and they're like, okay, the safety has my outside shoulder. So you go here again, one, two, and then let's go ahead and throw it inside, get a nice play, almost a touchdown. Let me see if I can get a uh, better idea of what, you guys, what I was talking about with the safety helping out. Let's go ahead and try one more time. So let's go here. So look at, watch triangle, and then see how he jumps inside? He decided to jump inside, so I can't throw that pass lead inside. Now, if within the first three or four seconds, though, guys, you go here, and then you go one, two, and then boom, just throw that. Get that inside position. Delaney Walker decides to drop it. But you guys get the general the general thing with that. And th this pass, these pass play guys, they're really tough to stop because you can sit here and go, Boom, all day, and that's 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 tough to stop, guys. I mean, what people are going to have to do is they're going to have to start dropping their DNs and dropping their safeties and bringing everybody in the box and trying to put everything here. And then, I mean, you're going to go here. I mean, people are going to be like, oh, i got to stop the streaks. I have to stop the streaks. And then you go, boom, and start hitting them without routes so they can't, they can't have outside leverage or help. So, I mean, I think this is one of the better pass plays because of the adjustments you can do to it. And that's my opinion. So so far, this is this is the man beating portion. We're gonna go ahead and get on to the zone, but beating. Okay, guys. So getting back on key with the zone. So we're going back to this again, and we are gonna go to the single back ace. Go back to your thing, your outside zone. So your base play, which you're gonna be running, coming out in all game, outside zone. And then, like I said this time, this is the, this is the zone part. So you guys have a better idea. So it's a little bit easier to break apart. Now we're going to go into zone. Like I was saying earlier, there's not really that big of a difference running against man or zone. In my opinion, a lot of people will disagree. I There's not a big difference to me. You count the guys in the box. You're going to run it. It's not like they're going to play it any different to me. As you guys can see, the corners are backed off. When you, Unlike when you were playing man, they were up in the coverage. Uh, your safety was a little bit higher up. So what you do is, let's just show you the run against zone against man. So you go here. Once again, it's pretty much the same. So they come up the same way they came up in man. The, the, I don't know what my tight end's doing. I don't know why he's not blocking down. I'm not quite sure why he's playing it the way he's playing it. Um, it's kind of frustrating me right now because usually he'd be blocking that out. Um, I guess you can just keep it inside right there. There's no one there. But as you guys can see, there's no real difference how they're playing to me against man or zone. Now, this is the big difference between man and zone this year, throwing the ball. Now, as we were showing you earlier on in the video, this was the man beater you wanted. You were going to go the streaks by the tight ends because they had the inside position and the out routes on the outside. Now, 
check out this issue, what happens if you do this, throw this out route like we were talking about against Man. Look at the difference now. You've got that flat, and he goes and plays it. Um, I don't know why he started to back off, but usually they go over there and they play that. Now, that's a big issue, guys. You can't – so pretty much – you're pretty much eliminating yourself from this play against a cover three. As in man coverage, it's not going to matter. You're not going to have help over at the square side. So then, like I said, he's over there helping. You, you can't throw either out route because the, the flats are covering up. Just going to bomb it. Uh, threw a pick. Um, no, I didn't. He didn't catch it. But as you guys see that there's help now. So you're like, well, how do I get rid of that help to throw that out route? You go back to your curl flat concept, which I'm sure a lot of you know of. Keep the flat, keep the flat, throw the out route now instead of having the streak. Now, he gets sucked down, as you guys saw right there. Now, he gets completely sucked down by that flat route. And the only way for this year to get su to not have it sucked down is, is if he would put the D in on a light blue the guy in a purple, the guy in a purple, and the guy in a light blue. So, I mean, that's not smart because, I mean, then, like I said, you can start hitting him with the streaks right there. But, like I said, guys, this is this is, this is is really good. Um, this is your cover three beater, your, your main cover three beater. Like I said, we'll go to the right side now. The guy on the flat, he gets over there. I mean, that time he got there because, like you see, if you go – and we'll try to show you this so you get a better idea – if you see the safety up in the top right corner, he's got a flat. Now, you see a cover three look. This could be a cover three or a cover four look. So, usually that safety's not going to be there. But since he's got a light blue, the way in the formation he's playing it, I don't know why they have it this year. But for some reason, if they're in a light blue and he stays up there, he gets it's pretty much like a purple and a light blue. Now, you see this again, guys. Your out routes are here. But let's just say you see your coverage like this. You'd be like, okay, well, if that safety is so far up, you've got a quick pass right there, and that's a seven, eight-yard gain. So just utilize that. Just try to pay attention to that. If their if their flats are not getting sucked in, I mean, go ahead and throw the little the little flat route, get your yardage. Take what take what the defense gets you with this offense when you're gonna throw the ball. Because I mean, you're a run you're a running guy if you're watching this. So like I said, this is the zone portion. You guys have your main zone beater. For your first audible. And you can see the out routes. Now this is the second play I want you guys to go ahead and do against zone. You're gonna have you wanna have your double streaks and your slants. And this play was also a man beater, which is why I like it. You can beat it with man, you can beat it with zone. Now check this out. You got your streaks, they take the yellows, and boom, you've got your slant for a ten to fifteen yard game. Excuse me, I, I had a little something stuck in my throat. Once again, you have your streaks. Against man, so let's just say maybe they're playing a backed off man. You've got your streaks for your inside position, or you've got your slant. So you go here again, here again, and then boom, you've got your slant. That's a great play, guys. I mean, that's the same. You could beat it with man. You could beat it with zone. So I mean, if you're if you're kind of a newer guy, you can just run this, and I mean, you can you can beat the slants with zone or beat it with them. Now also check out the streaks, guys. Now after a couple seconds, you guys see right there the zones. If you go ahead and quick pass to the slant, so if you go, let's just count it, one, two, and you throw it. Now, if you go one, two, three, check it out. Go here. We'll go one, two, three. They come up and play the slant a little bit more, and your streak is open. Now, that's the problem with the cover three this year. That's why a lot of people prefer man, is it's really easy to exploit zone this year with uh, drags and slants. So... Your, that I mean, that linebacker's responsibility is to play the middle of the field. So, I mean, he can either go ahead and bail and leave Davis going out on a streak and try to let the free safety, or he's going to have to take the slant. He, there's no really – he's going to have to pick and choose. So let's see if I can try to get him to pick the slant. Um, he's not picking the slant. I threw that late. But I want him to see – I want to see if I can get him to pick the slant so you guys can see a little bit better of the streak. Um, let's go here. Let's – yeah, he's not picking the slant. He wants that streak. He doesn't want to give that up. But uh, probably with a little bit better team, they're, they're, it'll be mixed in. They're going to pick the slant. They'll pick the streak. Uh, uh, he actually kind of went to that that time. I got sacked, but he actually came up and played the slant that time a little bit better. And then you can go there. I mean, that's there. Run by the corner. I mean, it's a really it's a really good play. It's really good formation this year, guys. I mean, you've got quick passes. You can get it out quick. You can wait it out. You can do a lot of things in this formation, guys. So, I mean, this is the zone part of your first 
of your base plate beater, and also this is just gonna be your first your first thing you guys want to do. Thanks, guys.